Welcome back, Tekken World Tour. We are at Versus Fighting 2018. I'm Tacey Steve. Joined by Spag. Oh, okay. That, I, just like, I like saying spaghetti rip. I don't know what you it wanna is. You want to say it? You're probably saying it. All right, okay. I just wanted to be clear. I, I didn't want to be that guy calling you something that you're not. Later for that. Anyway, they've got the tasty spaghetti combination right now, okay? I mean, look, man. Tasty spaghetti, that's, that's the best spaghetti. I'm just saying, man. It's... It's what you want. However, we are getting set up for our next match. But let's take a look at the brackets. We already saw that first match. Saint versus JDCR. JDCR now in loses going down to Saint. A lot of people probably didn't see that happening. But here we are. Of course, John Ding going up over Devil Kazia. He's going to stay on that winner's side. And that's going to be our winner's finals. However, we still have four remaining players at the bottom. That's going to be Devil Kazia Kakoma. And then yep. we have JDCR versus Selfie Black. I believe we're going to get a winner's finals right now. Oh my god, winners finals, UYU versus Echo Fox, Saint and John Ding. Yeah, I don't have we seen this match before? If I'm not I don't think so actually. I don't think we've seen it in tournament. I, I, or it was a while ago. It, it must have been back at before CEO for sure. Wow, okay. So I'm interested to see it because I know that Saint does also play Eddie as well, and mm -hmm. Jack isn't so bad versus Eddie, to be I honest. I can't remember. I'm almost certain. I, I'm pretty sure I like commentated it or something, and I yeah. just don't remember. You never know, man. I'm sure these guys have played before, though. I mean, but what do you think is going to happen? I think actually, John, or maybe back at Combo Breaker. I'm so conflicted. I gotta find out. <laughs> Somebody in the chat tell me. Regardless, yeah, I'm pretty sure they did play each other. But you know, everybody knows that Saint does have a. He has an Eddie of his own, so he must be versed in the matchup at least enough to get him through this. However, we said this before: the John Ding's Eddie is no regular Eddie. It's not. It's not. It's a different Eddie. It's a different Eddie, and you know he can really put anyone into that. His mind game is incredible. I have to. I can't stress enough how how good this guy's mind. Game. He can get into your head, know exactly what you're gonna do before you, even you know what you're gonna do, and and just just tear you apart. You know, and he, of course he is the champion of the last. Master room was it and um yeah, CEO. CEO, CEO. Yeah, so and he even is if, on form. Even if he doesn't, his back dashing is so good yeah. and whiff punishing is pretty on point. I mean it's it's no, you know, my boy we just saw it was no selfie black, but however, it's still up there to where you have to be worried if that man is back dashing away from you and possibly baiting out an attack. He, he really go he, he shows how Eddie is meant to get uh, meant to be played, you know, putting you into those mix ups, but also playing a solid Eddie where he can poke you down with Eddie's pokes, get the life feed, and just chill and just play keep out. Yeah, I mean we like I said, we saw it in that first match when he was playing uh, Devil Kazi. He played back so far once he understood that Devil Kazi was going to be swinging, that he had to deal with those God fists, and even that he was going for those lows. Because Devil Kazi really likes to use like down four in pressure just to test to see if you're going to block a hell sweep. Yep. You know, him getting a wild standing four punish isn't the worst thing that can happen. So he was okay with that. But once John Dane found out, his whole gameplay changed. He's like, I'm going to play back a little further. I'm not going to worry about it. However, we're not talking about that. He is incredibly intelligent as a player but i'm so excited for this man john ding john ding man do you know john the ding john the ding <laughs> lucky chloe and eddie and this guy is just tearing up the tekken world tour with that uh, handsome head of hair up there of course saint that's not saying like, he's a big guy this is the first time i've really seen him like in person right yeah. i'm like this guy's big yeah he was uh he's a pretty big guy <laughs> he's a pretty big guy he ain't no Bubsy or nothing like that. Bubsy. Oh, he ain't, he ain't That Bubsy. dude is intimidating, man. He kept threatening to throw me, man. I don't know what that guy's <laughs> deal is. I told him he need to calm down, bro. Not a muscle contest. We're here for video games. Digital violence only, okay? Bubsy. Shout out to the boy, Bubsy. Uh, of course, I was able to do a lot of commentary with him. Yo, man, thanks to you, man. I've been having a, an amazing time commentating with you guys. We haven't commentated with each other before, but... It's really uh, an honor no, to finally I'm, get to, you know, honor. exchange words with you. I've had a, a great honor to, to, to commentate with Tasty Steve, man. Nigga, you're the guy, Mr. Worldwide, like I was saying. Isn't it? Do I know <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide, man. You're everywhere. It's commentating. It's great to have you here, man. Obviously, uh, like I said, hopefully you come back to Europe and uh, do some more. Maybe show you around London. Jack hey, guys, make some noise for Tasty Steve, man. Go oh, on, guys. Come on, make some noise for Tasty Steve, man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, appreciate, <laughs> I seriously appreciate the love. I've had a great time here in Birmingham, just FYI. Thank you for all the, the people coming up, saying hi to me, making sure I'm having a good time. Man, yeah. People was bringing me all kinds of fruits and stuff. I was about this, man. You, you see how many oranges I've eaten? It's because yeah, you've had a lot of oranges, I man. <laughs> Damn, every time I saw you yesterday, you had an orange in your hand. Either way, guys, here we go. Make some noise for this winner's finals. The person who wins this is guaranteed top two. All to play for. Money on the line and a lot of Tekken World Tour points. All right, guys, who likes Saint? Who likes Saint? Make some noise. Okay, what about John Ding? Oh wow. boy, that's a clear favorite. Let's that's get a into clear it. Favorite. Winners finals, of course, three out of five. Now, one thing I want to talk about in this matchup is that you know uh, Jack's down four to uppercut. 
Eddie's not going to get a massive punish on it. You know, his 14 frame punisher from Tag 2 has been. Uh, it's gone in this game now. Mm -hmm. That's going to be something for he's, he's definitely going to have to do with. And I'm sure Saint knows that. And I'm, that's going to play a part in how well he spaces as well. Yeah. Down 4 2 coming from Eddie. Playing a very strong neutral game. Life is slightly in favor of John Ding right now. Yeah, like I said before, you're getting that life in just chilling. But now Jack has pinned him to the wall. Oh, oh my nice. god. The raw relax goes right under the move. Gets a uh, free launch. That's a major part of his offense and his defense. Being able to go and relax like that at a moment's notice just to be, oh, what a block one. Nice. Could have got a launch there, Hazel. Huh? Go to that back two. Oh, uh -oh. Wow. A little late on that one. Oh. Okay, John Ding with the first, uh, first round. Yeah, nice whiff punish there, too. I wonder what he was looking for. Maybe he thought it was going to be something bigger. Yeah, this is going to be full wall carry. Nice. Eddie's combo damage is no joke. Okay, 4-2 for the punish. Tries to make him duck with that wild standing one. He does not take it, but he's still against his wall. Saint needs to be careful. He's in trouble. Down 4-2. Gets the guaranteed hit. Here we go. Mix up time on the wall. Jack manages to get out there. Has the uppercut. Full Down combo. Four, he's definitely going to be really close to this wall. Will he break it? No! Oh, oh, what? It was the angle. It's all about the angles, bro. Like Jenga. Yeah. Oh. So tense. Both guys. One hit away. Oh, there it is. I like the run up. Run up just to go for the long week. Like you said before, man, that relax is a major thing. You have to be careful of down for it too early off. And I mean, besides all of the damage we've seen Saint do, he's down two rounds during this first game oh in the exact word. same situation. It's that raw relax, Steve. The relax mix-ups are so strong, and he's actually forcing whiffs with it and getting a full launch. Checking the Yanks. They're just poking away, poking away. He's already brought it back. The Yanks again. Oh, oh. decides to three plus four. Bam, bam. One more mix-up. Uh oh, he's at the wall now. That's not what you want to be versus Jack. Use his relax again. It's yep. going to be something for Saint to think about. Yeah, he wanted that situation to happen again. We've seen him use it twice already. Look at him just shimming away. It's like Bob's, he says the spaghetti legs. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. If he doesn't want to be near you, he has the backdash power to do so. He's like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to have to deal with any of this. Fam, there's 12 seconds left on the clock. There's no need for Jumping to overextend. He's just going to backdash. Come to me, bro. Oh, my oh. God. You said come to me, and he got hugged. And now he's Oosh. eating this rage right. <laughs> Okay, so John Ding getting a little bit, uh, overextending a little bit, running into that move. Good clutch there from Saint. Oh wow, back 12. Good punish. Down, forward, two, what a whip punish. Yeah. Gonna get the wall. Uh -huh. oh. oh, drops the back three. That can happen from time to time. Tries to go for that jackhammer. He's really trying to close him in really close. He wants them to stay near this wall. Yeah, big whip, no punish. Oh gosh. A little late. Dancing. I like it. more dancing. Yeah, just poking away. Back dashing. Oh man. Ooh. Double two. Good trade for Saint. This is gonna be final round. Here okay. we go. Okay. Final round, first game. Final round. Fight. Low parry to start it off. What a uh, read from Saint. Uh, That's gonna uh, go to the wall. Uh. Bam bam. Uh. Uh. Get great, great. That was gonna be huge damage again, Steve. That's what I told you, man. You have being able to go and relax is definitely one of those things you're gonna pay attention to. Breaks the balcony. There we go, finally. Look how much damage he got. He got half life of that. Put him back in the game, gave him the life lead, and once again, Saints fighting from a, a, against the wall. Yeah, exactly. But Saint manages to get himself out of there despite that big booty. Oh man. Relax mix-ups. Jabs. There we go. He's just pinning him to the wall. He's in prison oh, right now. He knows that trick. He's an Eddie player. 20 seconds left on the clock. Trying to play keep out with the jackhammer, uh, with the jackhammer and the down 4-2. Yeah, you saw him do that preemptive down 4-2. Wow, he is not taking any bait from none of these relaxes. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh, 10 seconds left. Don't do this. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. You thought you were going to get away with that against me, you son of a... Oh, oh my days. First game, same. I love the fact that he always picks the same win pose. It went right to the wire, right to the last pixel. I think John Ding thought that that low would kill, but Saint with the sick reactions gets the first game. And now we're going to a wall stage. Uh -oh. The brilliant uh -oh. and beautiful Arctic Snow. This is definitely gonna help out John Ding. This is this is what John Ding wants. Definitely. Uh, but the thing is that even Jack can play that range game as well. You know, both of these ca uh, characters can play a poke game, get the life feed, and just keep you out. So it's all about who wins in that neutral. 
Yeah, it's really, but I feel like it's so much harder for, you know, Jack to do so, uh, especially on a Waller stage, because now he knows you have to come to him. If he gets that life lead, coming to him is going to be a lot more dangerous, especially considering, like you said before, down 4-2, Eddie yeah. can't do anything about that now. He's going to need to get that lead and get out of there. It's going to be some solid Tekken having to be prepared here, and a down 4-2 counter here from Eddie. Bam, bam, dash up, down 2-3, into the guaranteed hit. Nice, that's huge damage, dude. 45% mm -hmm. right off. Whiff punish, quarter circle 4-3. Uh, he, uh. he had a year to whiff punish, that was a huge whiff. Look at this, once again, the damage that he's getting from this and the life lead is so significant. First round, game two. That's going to John Ding. John Ding, man, just two combos. Like, Eddie's combo damage is insane. And again, oh, man, the down 4-2, Eddie hasn't got like a really solid answer to that down 4-2 on block. The windmill. Electric energy. Down 4-2. Yeah, Saint can be a lot more uh, relaxed using that move. Alright, blocks that up 4 4. Oh, wow. I don't blame him. That was a good try. Look at it, he's just throwing it out, Steve. But the gets puts him in the mix up with the up 4 3. True 50 50 there. Bam bam. Swift's life just about even right now. You see John Ding just run up to try to force that guessing game. Small likely here for Saint. Rodeo, oh, no break. Ugh. Damage. That is huge damage, man. Catches him pressing buttons with the throw. I feel like he's, he makes such a right call when deciding to do rodeo in these matches. His timing on those throws, I mean, I, like I was saying the bubs yesterday, like, I don't know how, but people just do not break his throws. Mm hmm That's brilliant timing. Looking for the uppercut. John Ding is like, nah, bro, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> he's like, I'm not doing that anymore. He's like, I saw what happened last time. Just went in to try to close it out, and I got raised right, for he's no back reason. Back to Korea, I didn't but deserve that, but you deserve this low parry. Bam, bam, bam. Air to air. I like that. Joker's him with the down 4 one, one. Oh, oh my god. Goes for the Oki and that's going to get him a punish. John Ding right back in this. He's up two rounds in the second game. Last hit with him though. That would be a chunk of damage. Poking away now. Poking away. Side step 4. Oh! oh. Side step 34. Uh -huh. Goes for the Oki. Okie dokie. <laughs> I like the weight right there. Punish. You punish. Rodeo. Rodeo. Not this time, bro. I'm a, a, me a mechanical man, not a mechanical bull. Ugh. What? One more poke's gonna do it. Mix up time. Guess is right. Oh, went for the down four one. Didn't get a clean hit. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh! oh. No, look, you're not gonna keep doing this. Last time I rage yarded you. This time I'm just gonna low parry. That was good stuff. We say it stays alive in this match. He just punched him in the shoe for no reason. He's like, just in case you think about using that leg again. No punish on the wall, and he won. Look at, look at the damage differential up there. Saint. Time at one. Here we go. Yeah, four two. Oh wow! Gets out of the range of that power crush. Yeah, but no punish though. Poking away, poking away. Oh. Catches him, ducking 50-50, mate. And that is going to be the round. And there we go. Game two, John Ding. Yeah, you see what he did there? He was kind of just priming him for it. Kept dashing in, doing low, seeing how he was going to react, and then finally dashed in and went into relax. Just to see how he would react to it. And boom, he just wasn't prepared for it. Gets that big launch, that's going to give him that second game. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going back to a wall stage now. Like, yeah, I think, you know, even though... Yeah, I, I do think that the, the walls definitely favor Jack. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Like, yeah. you can't... With Jack, the thing is, if you get a wall stage, you're kind of blessed. You're lucky. Yeah. However, if you get an endless stage, the person that you're fighting knows that if they get that life lead, it's going to be a lot harder for them to get in on you, yeah. you know? And, of course, Eddie not with a good sidestep as well, so it's going to be hard for him to get out of that situation. Right? He's really going to be in prison. Here we go. And this is a relatively small stage. Round it is. <laughs> it is. Let's go, guys. Third match. One launch is going to get you right to the wall, especially from Jack. But here we go. John Ding actually getting the wall here. So what's he going to do? Oh. Okay. While standing one gets punished. Backdash. No punish though. And once again gets out of there. Saint got a little backdash on him. Oh, so I said deepest four. Here he goes. Just gets the wall splash. No, it's a weird wall splash. Still gets the combo. Nice Oki as well. Puts him in the mix up again. But guess oh, is wrong. And wow. Saint with the, with the launch. Bam bam. Man, these walls, bro. That's what we call it in London, the Buki Rocks. They're all Buki. It's Buki Rocks, man. The Buki Rocks? The Buki Rocks, bro. You do not get a wall splat on the stage. It's too Buki. If these... 
History Pookie. If these walls could talk, they'd be like, yo, bro, you think you're going to get a cool combo? <laughs> Not again, today. Bro. Nice, good bait. Oh, down forward two again. And he actually caught him out of relax. Yeah. Good read there from Saint. Let me go back in the middle of the stage now. Just poking away. Down back one. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Changing up his timing a little bit as well, making it hard for Johnson to react. Oh, down forward two. He's going to get the counter hit this time. Yep. Not done. Wall. Yeah, yeah, close to this wall. Oh man, this timing. There we go. Guess is right again, and that is going to be it. Up for three. Up for three really does put you in a pure 50 50 situation as well. There's no fuzzy guard in there. Look at how Giant Gang is playing a lot more aggressive. And this is what I was talking about. He wants to push close to that wall as possible so he does not have to deal with Jack yeah. fighting him against the wall. Oh my god, my John Ding is playing just so perfectly right now. Oh, big whiff and the Jack come up with no punish. Nope. Nice break on the two throw. Just spacing each other out, waiting for the opportunity to strike. Goes in with that smack. Saint, once again, he's had the life lead in so many rounds, and still John Dane persists. One. It only takes one mix-up to get that round. What's he going to do? Oh, we saw when he did this last time. He oh. says no more. Down for it, too. He was definitely about to dash in again. Nice call out there. Saint gets a round on the board in his third game. And just like you said, Steve, you know, he's going into relax a lot, and it's caused him a lot of issues. So Saint just really wants to keep him out. Say, oh, you know what? Stay away from me. I'm going to throw out this uppercut. Great spacing. Hello? Really going at the Yanks right now. There we go. Just those lows just adding up, adding up, mm -hmm. poking away, poking away. This, is, th thing. this gameplay is a lot more reminiscent of, uh, I know we spoke about like Anakin a little earlier too. Yeah. But he plays a very slow, methodical pace until he needs to get in, gets mad aggressive and starts just dash again. Down forward two, gets the launch. There we go. This should be going towards the wall as well. He gets a good Okizemi hair. Sidestep, goes for the relax. Check some more eggs again. Oh, oh my that god! That is gonna hit and you are going to be done. We're going to another final round. If we had just pulled the trigger <laughs> on that back two four, could have been it. But here we go, final round here. Oh wow. These guys are going back and forth. Absolutely. Good punish. Stop. Big mid this time. The standing four. Oh wow. Very good. Saint is getting a lot more confident in his choices, especially attack and relax. We're definitely shutting down those options from John Ding. Exactly what you got to do versus Eddie Hager. Hey, Jackhammer into the one. And once again, like I said, look at how Saint is going back to his exact same range. He wants John Dane to come in thinking he's comfortable. Down 4-2. Uh. Caught him out of relax again. That's going to be 2-1 in favor of Saint. He's, Absolutely. He's, make, he's baiting him into coming into the space where he thinks he's comfortable and then he's launching. Calling him out with down 4-2 is so smart because like you said, Eddie can't punish it. So yep. if you get him to get into that range, going into relax, picks you right up. If you go for anything else that's going to get shaved, you're going to get launched. And he's done it a few times now. He's done mm -hmm. it a few times, you know, just like you said. He's trying to go into that relaxed mix-up to put you in a 50-50, but Saint doesn't want to deal with it. What is John Ding going to do now? Well, I feel like what he needs to do, he needs to use a lot more of those range moves. We've seen where relaxed um, handstand has gotten him gr great launches, mm -hmm. and just even sometimes going for smaller pokes, not finishing the strings, has really kind of thrown Saint off tilt, and that's when he backdashes. He doesn't challenge those. Because if he's not answering relax right away, he's not going to get that launch. Yeah. He's only going to get a hit, and it's going to push him away. The pokes have been working for Johnny. Let's see if you can just beat him down, but oh man. Down for two again. Can't poke him when you get in juggle, mate. <laughs> uh, 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 50%. I got it on days. sale. Big that win. Johnny guesses right again. There you go, just like what, I'm John Ding. He's I'm not done. adapting to the Steve. You He's not adapting to the down 4-2s. It, it's, it's too hard. I mean, it's not Round that it's too hard, but the range that you have to play it to put Jack on tilt is exactly where Eddie can't be. Down 4 at 1-1 this time. He's getting a full launch again. It really is a hard matchup for Eddie because of that down 4-2, and Saint really showing why. But here we go, though. John Ding gets a down 4-2 of his own. Bam, bam. And again. Great spacing. And now look at the difference. Yeah. What does John D do now? That he has a life lead. Doesn't have to overextend there. Yeah, just don't. I mean, you want to make sure you, you have a small stage to deal with, but you just make sure that he respects you. Nice gap filling move right there. Covers a lot of ground. Makes you have to block. Yeah, Saints is going to pick his shots now. Not do anything too silly. There we go. Just slowly chip him down. Bring that life lead back. And he doesn't have much time. Only 20 seconds left on the clock. We've seen him operate with less time 
and get the W. I'd be surprised. Up 4 4. Those are some of the moves you want to use. Make oh, it respect no. it. While standing 4, gets the full combo right after, but he still does not have the life lead. 50 50 gets here. John Ding on the offense. Five seconds left on the clock. What's going to happen? Four seconds, two seconds. Just back dashing, back dashing. Wow. And there we go. The flip. And you can see Saint nodding his head like, yeah, I overextended that time around. Yeah. Now, this is what you need to do. Use those smaller pokes, but you can't get too happy while standing one. Yeah, just short of the wall, though. But here we go. This is a dangerous situation here for John Thing. Look at that. Three wall splat oh, into oh, the tank. Oh, oh. Boom! Max damage. Good punish there for John Thing. Manages to get himself out of there. But he has a massive life deficit now. Oh, gosh. Okay, mix up time. Oh, wow. He is like, he's ready for this. Like yeah. I said before, he knows Round that you have four. to go for something big in that situation, Fight. especially with the life deficit. This is set point for Saint to move on to grand finals. Yeah, guarantee himself the top two at least. Put him back to where he was last year as well. Oh, man, look at him. He's just back dashing, back dashing. And he, now John Ding has the life lead. I don't blame him. I'm not moving. I'm not taking a step forward. I got a whole stage, oh, bro. Oh, what a beautiful with punish. punish. Wow. Perfect. Bam, bam. Uh -huh. mm. Look at the damage. I think we're going to a final round, Steve. Uh -oh. Ooh. Back 12. Tries to answer back, goes back to that neutral game, and just look. He has no problem doing this. I don't blame him. Yeah, just back dashing and moving left. Good punish, yep. Oh, Down man. Forward to this might be the beginning. But he's only got 15 seconds left. What can he do? It's going to be hard. What's he going to go for? Big Jack hit. Oh. A 4-4 again. <laughs> block on it. And that's the second time he's gotten it off. Yeah, that down 4-3. A really good uh, round ends up. But we're going to a final round here. Let's see if John Nick can stay alive. Big whip from Jack Hammer. No punish. So I said 4. Oh, man. Big whip. These guys are not punishing right now. But it's just because now, look at the ranges in which they're fighting now. They're playing a little further out. That means yeah. those launchers are not going to be so easy to hit. On top of that, John Ding starting to whiff punish. We've seen quarter circle 4-3, as well as a down 4-2 from him. So look, he's going to dash in, down 4-2 again. Yeah. yeah. Again, not risky versus someone like Eddie. These guys don't want to commit to anything too crazy. But there we go, Jackhammer. Good timing, but doesn't get the one. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Guess is right again on the up 4 3 mix-up. Zane's been guessing right recently. Goes for the OP. Nice block on that with the standing 4. Down 4-2, no punish by John Ding. Well, these rounds been going down to the clock. And the oh end. my oh, god, this is going to be good damage. Now, bam, what do you bam, do? Bam. You get the life lead, do you run away? He goes in while standing 4, he loses the life lead. Six seconds left the clock. Oh, again, he guesses right on the up 4-3 mix-up and Saint is going to be moving into the grand finals. Wow. Wow. And we, you see how that, that game, that match, that whole set kind of devolved into exactly what we were talking about. Exactly what you mentioned before, that down 4-2 being a big problem for Eddie in a bunch of those matchups. And I feel like Saint was already aware of that. He yeah. wanted to make sure that he was like, you know what? He knows that I play Eddie, but I'm going to force this tool. But I'm not going to force it first. I'm going to force it later. Let him know I, I'm going to poke him. Let him know that I'm going to wane him down. And then John Ding was like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get these combo hits. And that's what was making him win those first rounds. Yeah, definitely. You know, Saints defense was so strong that John Ding felt that he had to go for those 50-50s. You know, usually he would just poke you out, poke you out, give you some throws. But this time he had to go for those 50-50s. But at the end of the day, and they have worked in the past, but if you guess wrong, you're going to get punished for it and Saint guess right in those, in those situations. Well, if you don't want to get punished, make sure you use exclamation point, Kwamba, and